He has a composure to his game with bite. He's got the ability in tight spaces to drive forward. He has the intelligence to combine in those tight spaces, and he makes What's players his best around position, him play. Herc? What That's position, Herc? What position does he play? How Seb, would you describe it? I'm glad you mentioned that because I've seen a lot of people already bring up Tyler Adams. We need a six. We need somebody behind Tyler Adams because Tyler Adams is not proven to be healthy. Yes, he could play that, but I see him as a hybrid. He's very much a yeah. box-to-box player. He's, he adds just, just as much value on the defensive end as he does on the offensive end. And by the way, my man can strike a ball. Have you seen his mm. free kicks for Sporting Kansas City? This kid, for 19 years of age, he's brash, he's confident, and he wants this opportunity. And he could very well be the very next big thing out of Major League Soccer to Europe. He, he, and he almost scored in his debut on yeah. a long-distance shot. I mean, he took a great save. Uh, here, who else is interested in Gianluca Busi? Venezia, Fiorentina, Spezia out of Syria, Sporting reportedly out of Portugal, Gank out of Belgium. So these are clubs in Europe that have an eye on this kid. So as much as we're interested in him, so are others abroad, which is probably why everybody wants to see him in the starting R11. All right, uh, another player. Which category does Sebastian Legette, another midfielder, where does he fit in? A player that fans want to see or a player that fans have seen enough of? I think this is a player that fans don't want to see anymore, and, and I don't understand it. I think he's a very good footballer. This is a guy, and I'm going to separate a few players here. Uh, he has Major League Soccer stench on him, lifer stench on him, and most fans— What do you mean stench? What do you mean stench? Well, what do you mean by that? The fans, they associate, if you're going to stick around Major League Soccer for an extended period of time, as if I'm over with you. There's mm. a subdivision of U.S. fandom— that doesn't like Major League Soccer. I think it's subpar. These uh, Euro snobs, if you will, they don't value it. Do they have it. a point, Herc? Do they have a point? I mean, the, the point that they're making is that what, MLS is point? an inferior level. Okay, and that it's players Sebastian from that inferior level can't help the national player. team. That should I'm be the question. I'm just asking, do they have a point? Well, this is, this is I, think it's, I think it's not a question that should be asked because if you think that Major League Soccer is the same or higher level as you see in Europe, you don't know what you're talking about. That's, that's one, okay? Very easy. That, End of argument. But if you're trying to tell me he's not a very good player, you don't know what you're talking about. End of argument. This is a very good player, a dual uh, weapon on the field, box to box. You can put him on the 10 spot. You can put him on the wings. He's very good on the defensive side of the ball. He's very good on the offensive side of the ball. He produces goals, assists, good teammate. You can plug him in anywhere. He has value to this team. The fact that he's 28 years old and that he's still in Major League Soccer, to a lot of fans, that's the issue. That's the issue at hand, not Sebastian Legette and his quality. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.